Okay, uh, again, a huge good afternoon to everybody. Uh, thank you for attending the webinar this afternoon. Um, and again, thank you for your guys' patience, just waiting a, a couple of minutes there, just so we can get going. It's just so we can get as, as many people into the room as possible. So today's daily webinar, uh, it's about survival of the fittest, um, how to survive lockdown with online solutions. This is brought to you by Brief Your Market and our very proud partners, Yondel. Okay, so we'll start with an agenda. Um, return of the, 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 the famous news section today. I've got some great news and advice for estate agents. Um, we're going to have a look at the survival of the fittest in estate agency. A lot of that really, to be honest with you, is stuff that I've picked up over the last week from agents that are doing things differently, differently even easy for me to say, uh, and sharing that with you really, sharing it with the wide community. Uh, we're going to have a look at live chat and some advice and case studies from our partners Yondel, and then a look at your support network from Brief Your Market and your own mini marketing departments over lockdown. Timing wise, we're probably looking at around about 40 to 45 minutes. So get your reading glasses ready. We're nearly ready to go. Um, just a quick um, line that we will be sending out the slides after the webinar today. There is a lot of content in here today. So I will send that out to you before 6 p.m. for you guys to review and use the links on the, uh, the content if needed. Okay, uh, first of all, um on questions if uh, if you have any questions um you'll probably uh, would have found that there is a questions tab on the uh, the go to webinar control panel and um, if you guys use that i will take all questions at the end i'll have a 10 or 15 minute session at the end just so you guys can uh, you know if you've got anything you want to pose to me and i will do my very best to help Okay, so uh, this is what we're picking up at the moment, and there's quite a lot, so uh, hold tight. Um, yes, this is correct. The Sun and Daily Star, yes, really, um, were first to go with this today. I'll just let you uh, digest uh, that just now on the screen. And as you can see at the bottom of the of the article, there, uh, this wasn't a, this wasn't a story made up by the Sun and Daily Star, uh, unbelievably. Um, it was a, a, a written a report uh, by a conservative peer, Lord Guardia, and uh, Sir Jonathan Simmons, chairman of Glaxo Smith Klein. So again, really, really genuinely interesting one for our industry. It might well be maybe come Monday, eleventh of May. Uh, you guys can uh, get back in your offices and open your doors. So, yeah, I will keep abreast of that, as you know. I'm um, running these, these webinars daily. When I know something, of course, I will share that with you if you don't already know, of course. Okay, I'll, I'll leave this on the screen and go on mute just for a second. There's quite a bit of text. Okay, so uh, that, that, that's from um, an article picked up uh, about a, a company called Really Moving. And again, just gives us an idea of, uh, you know, the, the, the sentiment that is out there. That is a survey doing 
uh, done by those guys. And again, I'm not sure exactly how large that survey was. They didn't tell us. But again, you know, just to uh, get an idea of, of where we are at the moment. Okay, just a slight, slightly more on that. So the survey results are in. Again, we don't know how big this survey was, but again, just a continuation of that one just before. Uh, the, the the part I, I feel is most interesting here, and again for the guys that have been in the webinars before, uh, it's saying that 6% are no longer willing or able to proceed, and 3% have seen their chain collapse. You guys will know that I, I reported on the uh, the sales withdrawn and, um, and fall throughs, which were outrageously high. Uh, for a couple of days last week, um, it, it was in, into the high 30 percent there. So again, um, just a caveat with uh, what that is there. I think the nice thing there, by the way, and a positive, sensibly most 62 percent intend a lot to use a lockdown period to get as far ahead as possible. So they're ready to hit the ground running again. That'll be DIY around the house, I would imagine. Um, Good to have a quick look at this as well, by the way, if you get a chance. Um, this is the, the Right Move Hub, which is customer facing, i.e. the general public facing, on what Right Move is saying around this. There's, there's some good stuff on there, but again, um, it is the biggest property website in the UK today. It would be interesting uh, to, for you guys to just read up on uh, what is on there and, and basically how they are. You know, advising your, your your current clients and potential clients going forward. Uh, good to have a look on there. Um, there's the usual property blog stuff around celebrity homes and all that as well. Okay, um, not to leave out our friends at Zoopla. This is their uh, their chief commercial officer here, Andy Marshall. Uh, I'm just going to have a read of that that information just there. Now, again, I think this is really, really interesting. Um, it could be that um, virtual viewing has become the first viewing that um, home hunters might make actually before going to the property in person. Um, that might actually be better for you guys. Um, and uh, I, I picked up a fantastic term. I can't remember the age of it now. Um, maybe the, you know, those Saturday mornings when you've got, you know, five people in for a viewing and they all are classed as what this agent will call carpet treaders with absolutely no um, intention of making an offer on the house. That's very interesting. And again, for the guys that um, they are on the webinar today, um, you know, please talk to me and share your, um, your experiences around the virtual viewings you're doing so far. That would be good to know. Um, brilliant. Brilliant stuff here from Hunters, by the way. I'll just leave that on the screen for you there. I think this is this is really really good, and I have the biggest agency brands. Hunters have absolutely got there first. And um, what I do love as well is this: while customers can benefit from its twenty four seven portal, um, I, I, I work strange hours at the moment because it's just so busy. But again, if I maybe was on Sunday night thinking, "Oh dear, I need to 
you know, uh, get some information on my potential home move or purchase. Um, again, I think that's fantastic. And again, talking about live chat moving forward uh, with our guys at Yondel, very, very, very interesting guys as well, by the way. And there's some uh, there's some games and, and, and recipes for the grown-ups to try there as well. So again, uh, good stuff there. I doff my cap to hunters on that. Help to buy. Okay, this is a bit of a thorny subject for certain agents. So again, I'm just going to... Uh, Leave that on the screen there for you guys to have a quick look at. Now, this is very, very interesting that um, there's there's a, a former, I will say former head of civil service and permanent sector at the uh, Ministry of Housing who's, who's urging Whitehall to beef up help to buy. Um, again, a very close one to keep an eye, especially, of course, uh, when you're working with new home developers. This is gaining a lot of traction as well. I'll just let you read what's on the screen there. I, th I think they've been definitely, well, I've heard, definitely heard rumours um, about it potentially, see, even before uh, coronavirus to help out, um, the, you know, the um, certainly the new homes area um, of the industry. I, I, I Obviously, it's my own my personal opinion, but I don't think this one is going away. So, again, it'd be interesting to see what happens with that. And I think I quite like that, that headline there of uh, Stam Jutal to help resuscitate the housing market. Um, be interested to see what uh, our Rishi decides on that one. Okay, uh, for the guys that were on the, the webinar um, last Thursday, uh, we had the lovely Kate from Redditch Mortgage Advice who provided some brilliant content on what's going on. This is something I picked up on her Facebook page last night. Um, Remortgage searches up to 60% up. Okay, so um, you know of, of that experience of working with estate agents. I know you guys will get um, referral income from mortgage cases so again for the briefing market customers that are on the webinar today have you sent an email out to your database and um, to try and encourage people to look at their refinancing and again provide yourselves an income at the moment um i will leave that one with you now okay a word of caution here on zoom i'll just let you uh just digest what's on the screen there. It's quite a lot of text. Um, and you just just have a look at the Elon Musk's um, tweet on the, the, the right, top right-hand side there as well. And again, for you guys, uh, this is not official advice. As you guys know, I pull together this uh, this content on a daily basis. It is educational. Um, you guys, if you read the tweet there from Rank Visibility, um, there is this new craze, and it, it made Sky News yesterday called Zoom bombing. And um, this was uh, somebody. Well, you'll, you'll, you can read the uh, the article on the the right hand side there. Now, again, obviously, that's a very disturbing story there. Uh, again, for you guys that are engaging in meetings whereby some of the, the information on that call might be uh, a commercial or, or have some type of value to maybe one of your competition, I do just urge you to uh, potentially uh, uh, be a bit cautious about some of the, uh, the technology you may well be using. And again, this is educational. This is not fact. It is coming from the media, of course. Quick update on uh, conveyancing. This is something I picked at the beginning of the week. 
So again, a good one to have a look at here. Uh, this, uh, I feel, is really interesting stuff. Uh, I'm picking up um, from agents on speaking to on a daily basis what's going on. I had a very um, interesting and sorry disturbing conversation this morning with an agent uh, that a solicitor had not been to their office in two weeks to pick up their post. Um, so um, you can imagine what that is doing to a potential chain. Um, I like particularly the fact there that Rob says e-signatures and procedures and acceptance needs to be standardised. Uh, I've not heard of many conveyances who are actually doing that. That is going to become a problem for you guys in getting these sales through, uh, completed and the money in the bank. So again, I'll keep you abreast of what's going on there. Uh, there's a second part there, which is another law firm. So I'll let you digest the information on that one. Okay. Um, yeah, again, you know, it's just, it's just quite real about what's going on at the moment. Um, you know, for the years I've dealt with these state agents, um, the, the bugbear has always been how slow and uh, outdated the, uh, the conveyancing part of the process is. Um, hopefully it will shake uh, these guys into, um, into new processes. Furlough payments, everybody's favourite F word at the moment. So, um, yeah, that, that's on Sky News just today, actually. I'll send you the link afterwards. Have a quick look at that. Yeah, really, really key. This might have actually broken later last night. There was an update on Sky News about 20 past 10 today. Uh, the 20 past 10 this morning update is on the link there. Uh, on on the, uh, the furlough um, payments as well for your businesses, I'll just let you have a quick look at that, which was on Property Insure this morning. So there is a link to the, the, the point, the property insurer article there first, then also more importantly, the, uh, the actual Gov payment portal. Um, they, they have got a launch date of, of the 20th of, of April, which is obviously Monday next week. Uh, we'll see if they hit that. I know there's been, there's been potentially been issues there. But again, some really good upstate information there for your furlough staff. Okay, so on to the fun stuff now. Um, don't worry, I won't be getting, having you get to do star jumps this afternoon. I've got um, a poll during the webinar, so again, please get involved and vote. It does help. Be honest as well with the, the answer to the questions. It does help me and it gives you, know, you guys an idea of, of how agents are feeling around the country. So uh, we'll get started. And on that, I have the first question of today's poll. 
So stand by your beds. Okay. Three, two, one. How prepared is your business? Should lockdown be lifted in three weeks for estate agents? And please don't worry, this, this isn't shared anywhere, so please answer honestly. Give me another 10 or 15 seconds there. Okay, that's actually quite encouraging. 63% uh, of you said today, very, I'm ready to go. So uh, yeah, that, that, that's good to hear. Um, there were 27% uh, which said I am neither unprepared or prepared at this moment. And 10% as I'm nowhere near, I do feel underprepared. Well, I hope um, the education session that I'm gonna go through for the rest of the webinar, and of course the daily webinars, which will continue for as long as you guys keep turning up, Hopefully that will help over the coming days too. So thank you for answering that question. Okay, a thought for you guys that were on the webinar yesterday. I apologize, it was there again. But if you just have a quick look on the screen. Now, whilst this is also extremely comical, uh, it's very real for agents that I can think of that I've dealt with, dealt with over the years. Um, there's going to be a big wrecking ball putting through their business rather quickly, um, especially the ones that have uh, fell asleep uh, for the last three weeks and what's been going on. So how can we help? This is a brilliant, again, another brilliant quote by Peter and I founded the Property Academy. I'll let you guys just, uh, just digest that there. Again, it's very top level stuff there, but um, I, I, I think it's great. Um, you know, it, it's not it's not hard to, to try things and fail. Uh, you'd rather try than not. You know, I'm seeing agents really uh, doing very, very different things. Some of it, which I'm going to share with you uh, in the next few minutes. Um, second part of, the, of that quote there. Okay. And again, it, it could well be dependent on um, on that, that that report that's been to the government about estate agents being able to open up in three weeks' time. Uh, again, um, if this isn't isn't a time for it, then when when is it going to be really? Um, again, for the guys that are on the the webinar this afternoon, um, briefly market customers, please please speak to the team about the automation part of your briefly market system. Automation is key in the twenty first century talk to us about how that can power your communications and um, sort of stop some of the human elements and manual tasks that you have to make to generate income for your business. Okay, uh, and on the embrace of the technology, this is something uh, just picked up earlier this week. Um, I think what the lockdown does is highlight the digital divide. Um, and I suppose in some ways, really, in, in our industry, it's it's, it's how you're working towards creating a better infrastructure for your, for your offices in the future. Um, and I'll talk about that a bit more. I mean, this was something I picked up. I think it was on, uh, on Tuesday, actually. And again, I'm not endorsing these guys. Again, this is just something I picked up as we go. Um, the, the guys are on, on the webinar who've got more experience than I have will remember the, uh, the home information packs. I quite like this home owner passport.
Again, it, it might just be one to have a little look at that one there. Another firm as well, who are doing a very similar thing. I mean, that's a very, very impressive rollout to 70 branches in just seven days by the guys there. Um, and again, it's, it's about trying things that might work and make your business leaner in the coming weeks and months where revenue uh, is going to be understandably lower. OK, so on that, uh, we've got the our next two questions in uh, today's poll. So the first one. Three, two, one, go. Has your business embraced any new technology during lockdown? Okay, we give another five or six seconds. Okay, and the results are in. Amazingly, 79% yes, which is great to hear. Um, you'll, you'll know some of your competition who, who probably aren't on this webinar today, by the way, um, who are probably still uh, dictating to the secretary some of their the property details. Again, if you guys are looking at new technologies, then you're going to be one step ahead of them when this is all over. OK, question three. So if you answered yes, what have you introduced? And if it's not on that list there, don't worry. But again, it's just to uh, you know, give us all an idea. And again, for me to share with you what you've been doing and again and what, what other agents might want to take from you on the webinar today. I'll give that another 10 seconds there. OK, thank you all for voting again. So um, this didn't surprise me. 48 uh, percent video viewings. That's great to hear. Um, 13 percent virtual valuations. That's a good one. Uh, again, I think what it does, it keeps your, your, your valuation pipeline warm. It might not be you actually do the take on that point, but certainly if you've gone and done a virtual, say gone and done, if you've done a virtual valuation via FaceTime or WhatsApp or what have you, you'll be a step ahead of the agent next door who maybe has got his, uh, his shutters down and his, his answer phone on you can't get hold of them. Um, interestingly, 35% of you guys here, <coughs> excuse me, said that you've been using Zoom. Microsoft Teams, Skype and Slack to keep in contact with your staff. There's also things like Google Hangout as well. Again, for the guys using Zoom, obviously, I just have a look at your security preferences there. And interestingly, 4% of you um, have engaged with live chat as well. We're going to talk about that with our, our new partners, Yomdel. Some very, very interesting stuff from them today. OK. So this is all about change now. So this is uh, an agent, a briefing market customer, Pygate and Chrome. I'll just let you guys uh, digest that on the screen there now. I just think this is just some really good practical advice. Uh, and again, if, if uh, you guys are 
allowed back out in a big wide world in three weeks time and open your offices again you know the social distancing i believe will be in for many months so again here um a fantastic uh, way that these guys have uh, have adapted really and changed so uh you know they can still operate obviously at a lower level uh, at this moment it's the second part of the article For me, the, the key part there, uh, virtual viewings, uh, it may well result in 10 listings moving STC. So uh, can, you, can you turn the wheels of, of uh, the moments of the industry? You can, again, a lot slower, but again, uh, these guys have made a change and they're, uh, they're doing well. This is Instagram. I'll just take a quick look of what's on the screen here now. It's just picked up in the last 24 hours. I do particularly like uh, the, the, the Hunter's Wrench one there. Um, again, Hunter's are absolutely doing uh, the right thing there. Uh, there's a virtual valuation package. Very, very interestingly, and please do take this as financial advice in there as well. And again, talking about how you guys get kickbacks for mortgage deals. Uh, again, that, I think that's a very, very, very good idea, by the way. Um, the third one there is a webinar actually tonight at six o'clock. Um, if you're interested, of course, for home search. But again, with this one, they, they, well, I saw this earlier. I just thought, oh, do you know what? I, I went to a landlord seminar with a local agent about six months ago, and they postponed um, that that seminar. Now I've seen one of their competition agents actually re-engage the landlord uh, seminars. But they're now doing them online. So again, could you hold a webinar um, for your current sellers to maybe to give them advice, current landlords, maybe current tenants? Again, there's all this free technology you can use to keep your customers close. So uh, obviously do with, with that what you wish. Um, but again, keep an eye on uh, what some of the bigger brands are doing. Uh, and again, hats off to Hunters there. Okay. Uh, this is something I picked up from Property Industry earlier in the week. Um, it's a seven top tips, so I'll just uh, let you have a quick look at the uh, the preamble here on the screen. Okay, so this is absolutely about turning the corner into 2021 and out of the seven top tips here. I think there's some genuinely really good um, advice in there. I really, really do, um, especially, um, and again, the, the, the brief your market customers that are on the line. And today, uh, with our on-market data services that we, we have, uh, again, we, we can help you target withdrawn uh, instructions uh, from the market over the coming weeks. Again, I think in some ways, and again, I do like the last bit as well. It's always a struggle to get hold of people because they're at work. It's a very good 
good time to actually pick the phone to people and uh, and speak with uh, with your pipeline or potential pipeline moving forward. Tip six and seven now. Again, um, from my, my experience of selling advertising to estate agents for long, and I can't imagine, um, I do quite like uh, number six there. Uh, pulling out on your marketing will, may well mean that you have a big hole in your cash flow in six months' time. People still need to know you are around. Okay. So, again, uh, this is a local agent to where I live. I picked this up on, uh, I think it's Property Industry I. Brilliant thing here. I'll just let you digest what's on the screen. Yeah, the, obviously the media has picked up on that. Obviously, I picked it up because that's not far from where I live, and I know Matt Nickel. Um, again, great. Obviously, that is is supporting the NHS there. But again, he's, he's talking about the fact that um, there is absolutely a captive audience of potential buyers and sellers sitting at home at the moment. So again, to stand still at this very present moment is genuinely quite risky. Quite like this one here. This is a gentleman called Daniel Galati, uh, Mullock's Land and New Homes. Okay, I'm not uh, condoning uh, drinking alcohol during the hours of business. Uh, my laptop uh, isn't surrounded by alcohol bottles. Uh, but again, as you can see, uh, that's quite a lighter uh, approach to what's going on at the moment. And something I actually picked up as well uh, over the weekend, which is this is quite an interesting one from Brandwatch. So apparently survey response in the UK said they're drinking more alcohol. Uh, I will stay impartial on this subject today. Okay, so uh, you guys in the room today, you are the experts, you're the estate agents. Please use it and offer great content and advice. This is a very, very interesting one. I'll just let you read what's on the screen. So the guys that are sending out uh, weekly bulletins from your brief, your market system and talking to your databases, that might be a really good one uh, to include in your newsletter or something this week. Um, and again, if you've got a, a legal or tax specialist uh, that you can refer these people to, uh, that would be a very, very good idea. OK, so evolving consumer behaviour. It's our friend again at Zupa, Mr Andy Marshall. Now again, it is interesting here that uh, the consumer browsing behaviour, uh, this is obviously for Zoopla, are uh, stabilised, but there's different peaks. Um, you guys will know on, on, on the webinar today, if you've known me from before, I used to work for Rightmove. There was always certainly in London a peak around the, uh, the rush hour times and, of course, the, the early evening traffic. Uh, I'm sure that there is different peaks in the day. Uh, again, uh, some great. Um, insight there by the guys at the Zoopla. And again, this is quite an interesting thought. I quite like this one. So I'll just let you read uh, what's on the screen there.
I'm sure you guys will agree it's absolutely fits in with, you know, why we're holding the webinar today of being survived of the fittest. I do genuinely believe that this will change um, estate agencies for the future. Uh, will it mean less staff in offices, less offices? I do not know. But again, as, as Anthony Hesse has, has, has said there, um, with the embrace of technology, it, it, it's driven a lot of this um, these thoughts uh, moving forward that people might actually do something about it. So again, an interesting piece there from uh, from Anthony, a property personnel. So um, four percent of you on the on the webinar today talked about engaging in live chat for the first time. So a huge thumbs up to you guys. Um, so what, why why would you use live chat? Um, well, quite honestly, uh, you guys are short staff. You've your furlough staff, um, there might be illness and, and the home working availability might well be low. Um, the Hunters have a 24 7 portal. Uh, live chat gives you off the shelf that 24, 24, say 24 percent, 24 7 flexibility, and it's always available as a first line of response. For customer service elements, certainly out of your what would normal working hours be today, uh, they will go to your website. And you'll absolutely find that live chat is your mainstream route of contact. And if you call any of the larger companies like Vodafone now, uh, they will always ask to send a text message and direct you to live chat. This is what the big companies are doing. Take note, it will be your mainstream route of contact. If you're 80% if you're down in numbers of people to answer the phone, please look at this. Fast response time as well. It's immediately available on your website. There's no holding on the telephone or waiting for a reply to an email. I, I tried to contact um, a letting agent uh, on a personal matter uh, a couple of weeks ago and didn't get a response. I had to hunt them down on Facebook. That was interesting. Um, it, it's a resource filter. So for live chat, what it does, it handles your pre-inquiries. So if a tenant may be asking to a uh, have help of getting a light bulb changed that will obviously require uh, maybe a slow response than a landlord who would like to um, maybe buy a property and uh, take your property management up. It takes the initial burden off you guys in triaging those type of inquiries. For brand experience, it will help your company bar none. Again, I've used the, the, um, the example of Vodafone there. So, what I'm going to do is show you uh, some real case studies uh, from the mutual partners of, of the guys at Yondell and a brief your market. We've, we've got authorization to use these. These are absolutely real and have been shared um, with them uh, with the company's permission. So again, these are some of the examples of the live chat over the last couple of weeks that these guys have received. These are the guys, uh, Thomas Morris, so a big thanks to Simon Bradley and the team there for allowing us to use this. I think you'll see within there, and this is certainly what surprised me uh, when I was first introduced to the guys at Yondell about three weeks ago, is there is absolute commercial value in the live chat there. Again, your doors are closed. Some of your phone lines may um, you know, just have one person answering them. Again, the, the, the bottom one there, hello, I want to get a valuation on my property. How can this be done? Uh, the value in that is, is, uh, is outrageous, by the way. Um, Again, for the guys at Ryder and Dunn, a huge thank you to Richard Powell there, in, uh, in, and thank you for, for, for allowing us to use this. We'll have a quick look at what's on the screen. Again, I'll pull back to uh, 
to what Matt Nickel, Nickel and Co said there before, you have a captive audience at home. Um, the bottom one there, hi, are you still accepting offers on three? I'm, I'm assuming she means three bed semi um, in on whatever road it was. You can see these are real and uh, the vocabulary there is, is, is might be a little bit limited there, bless her or him. And the final one, and the, sorry, the final point here before we get to the question section either, is uh, I want you guys to know that Brief Your Market are here to support you throughout this time. We have excellent drag and drop campaigns which are in your campaign library today that you can use. If there's advice for your active sellers, if you would like to take them to a mortgage clinic, invite them to um, a webinar to help current sellers or people who want to sell their homes in the late summer or early autumn. And obviously, you know, as you can see from the campaign on the right hand side there, lining your property up for a safe sale. Please speak to the team. This is our rogues gallery. Apologies for this. We're all here to help. Um, so please, please contact us. Uh, it keeps us busy. Uh, we are busy at the moment, by the way. So again, bear with us on that as well, by the way. But again, we're, we're here to support you guys through this current situation. So please, please talk to us. That brings us on to the final part of the webinar, which is the, the fourth question of the poll today. Which is, do you need any help or advice? It's multiple choice, so nice and easy. And again, you guys, I mean, thank you for attending today. Please do vote, it obviously helps us. We'll keep, we'll keep on doing these webinars, of course, if uh, they, they are, of course, of value to yourselves. I'll just leave on there about 10 or 15 seconds. Okay, right. Thank you all uh, once again for uh, for answering the poll questions there. It's always interesting for me and for you guys in the webinar as well uh, to know what's happening out there at the moment. So a huge thank you to you. Uh, I'll keep the webinar open. If you posed any questions during the webinar, please don't disappear. If you do disappear, I can't answer your question because it just comes out as grayed out and you've gone offline, so I can't answer the question. So if you want to ask any questions, please do. I'll keep them open for 10 minutes. Um, thank you again. Um, next webinar is uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow. So for you guys who have got um, property management departments, big lettings departments, get your lettings manager in on that if you can, please. I'll send you the link to that webinar tomorrow in the follow-up email with these slides. So again, a huge thank you to everyone this afternoon. Have a great afternoon, a great night. And I'll hopefully catch up with you tomorrow morning. Take care.